All right. Good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Steve at the Weather Service in Spokane. We've got 2 o'clock. Uh, just a reminder, if you haven't done so, just make sure to mute your phones. So we've got a generally quiet weather week coming up um, for tonight and into Tuesday. Uh, seasonally warm temperatures. Um, our breezy north winds that are ongoing at this moment will be uh, keep staying out of the north, but they should be uh, lightening up um, this evening and to tonight and kind of remaining north northeast for tomorrow as well but uh much slighter speeds and we'll still be dealing with some wildfire smoke in some areas close to those fires and then as we get into midweek uh going right into the weekend uh the pattern setting up is going to pretty much persist through that entire period uh we'll be looking for some warmer temperatures kind of bouncing around close to normal uh we will introduce a slight risk of thunderstorms so I'll be showing you where that will be and little waves will be kind of moving through the area, just kicking up the winds a little bit each day. Uh, again, no, no real big high-risk weather days uh, expected. And then as we get into next week, um, models are going to probably be fluctuating uh, from time to time over the next few days as they're trying to uh, figure out what to do with some of these tropical systems that are currently down near the Baja, Mexico, as these things uh, move off to the west and st their moisture starts to get entrained into the jet stream. Uh, they, they tend to struggle this far out, so not a high degree of confidence at this time. So right now, uh, we're kind of in a, a northerly uh, jet aloft. It's bringing the sunshine and those north winds. The cold front that came through last night did kick up some pretty good winds. We had gusts 30 to 40, uh, locally even maybe 45, 50 in some spots down the uh, Okanagan Valley, down towards Banks Lake. But the good news is, is the moisture coming around the Four Corners High uh, is going to stay to our south. So we are looking at no threat for thunderstorms or lightning uh, here, at least through Tuesday, um, in this given pattern. Uh, as far as the smoke impacts, uh, right now with the north winds, the smoke near the Bazell fire uh, is drifting down um, to the south. We do have some smoke up in the Bassett Wilderness uh, with the, I believe that's the Diamond Creek. And I don't have it plotted here, but there may be a little bit of smoke up near the Noisy Creek fire by Sullivan Creek, uh, Sullivan Lake. And then tomorrow, uh, these, with these light north winds, expect this to be similar. And then as we go into the next day, we'll start to get more into the diurnal trend. So in the afternoon, any smoke will probably start to drift back up north in the valleys up towards Kettle Falls. Um, so coming up around Wednesday, and this is the pattern that's going to uh, persist well into the weekend, uh, we're going to reestablish a low over the Gulf of Alaska. The Four Corners High will remain put, and that will put us in this uh, persistent southwest flow. And here we'll have these little disturbances just kind of slinging through. Um, on Wednesday, the high will become a little bit more dominant. That will bring some warmer temperatures and allow this monsoonal moisture to start to trickle in and skirt southeast Washington and north central Idaho. And then each of these little systems that come through, they may aggravate enough of the moisture to squeeze out some thunderstorms, but I think the bigger impact is going to be just a, a slight bump of winds, um, especially for the afternoon and evening hours. So looking at where that may occur, uh, right now we're going to call it a low, low risk, um, but there is some solutions that bring that moisture as far north as Kellogg to maybe Pullman um, going down into the Blue Mountains. Uh, we think confidence will be much higher as you get uh, south of the Camas Prairie, but you know this is the area we'll have to keep an eye on. And we may even see an isolated cell up in the Besatan Wilderness um, and as some of these disturbances come through. So main risk with any storms um, doesn't look like there's going to be any severe weather but it would be lightning strikes fire starts and potential for some gusty winds uh, as far as those winds um, right now confidence a little bit higher for Thursday's forecast this is what the sustained winds are looking at um, in the afternoon hour so generally about 10 to 15 miles an hour a uh, couple with gusts in the 20 to 25 mile per range we may see a little bit stronger wind squeezing through the uh, narrow gaps uh, down the Wenatchee River Valley um, and then along I-90 towards Ellensburg, but uh, nothing extremely strong, just uh, a, a flow reversal from where we are now. And, um, you know, with the warm temperatures in the afternoons, we'll be getting back into the 90s. 
uh, any new starts, uh, you know, will make some runs. Um, but these winds will be calming down each of the uh, the nighttime hours. So looking at temperatures uh, for the next seven days, and I picked uh, Kettle Falls and Moses Lake as my two spots, um, given that we have the fire burning close up there. Uh, today, very seasonal, or actually below normal, which this is uh, indicated by this dotted line. As we go into tomorrow and Wednesday, we go into a warming trend. We'll be back into the 90s, um, low 90s up in the northern valleys, mid 90s to upper 90s in the lower basin and along the Snake River Valley. And then uh, as we get uh, into later in the week, we start to get some of those disturbances that suppresses that ridge back to the south a little bit, and we'll just be sitting fairly close to where we should be for this time of year. Uh, as we look into North Idaho, this uh, top graph is the temperature for Bonners Ferry. The lower one is Lewiston. And again, uh, same trend that we see uh, in Washington with the uh, warmest temps midweek and then sitting fairly close to normal. And down near Lewiston, that's where we'll see a little bit that heat kind of persist more and not get su suppressed as much as up in the northern part of the state. Uh, and then uh, the bad news as far as precipitation, uh, right now there's nothing real significant out there that's going to bring uh, any steady rain. So we're just going to continue to be dry. Our fuels are just going to continue to lose its moisture and you know, we're keeping our fingers crossed. We don't have any major uh, lightning events coming up. And as of right now, it's, uh, this is for July 31st through the first week of August. Uh, the odds still favor dry conditions and temperatures uh, near to above normal uh, for the western United States. So like I said, a very quiet week ahead. And uh, with that, I'll stand by 